Yeah, so the, the digital business platform combines work management, combines thinking, combines data and linkage to data, combines phys the physical world and business logic, brings it together in a platform. So some digital business platforms are more about the infrastructure. They're more about the data access. Um, some are more about work management and people collaboration. Others are about the business logic and the transactions. Others are about the physical world and sensing the physical world. Um, all of them need AI and algorithms uh, as a partner, frankly, um, to make them smarter. So you'll see the emergence of digital business platforms in the cloud arena. You know, Amazon's got it. You know, Google's got it. Um, Microsoft's got it. IBM's got it. They're all trying to differentiate their technical platforms, technical business platforms with smarts. So there's you know, a real concrete example, they're advertising it even. Um, you know, when they start including some of the uh, graph chips, um, you'll start seeing um, you know, more control of things like, um, I'm sure you've seen these drone shows. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we've seen that some of the hardware-based digital business platforms are using AI and controlling those, those drone shows. So obviously it can control also robotics and it can also control production, um, you know, production creation and product lines and assembly lines. And so um, you're gonna see different specialty platforms and that's on the physical side. Now there's also that on the business side and that's managing the logic and the transactions. And AI can help and assist employees and they do that. Same thing with work management. Can it, does it know when somebody is missing and can it do you know, workload balancing based on the, the resources that are available? Or put the work in the lap of the right person at that particular point in time? Or can it suggest the next best person and a bot buddy? Um, and so the notion of work management is crucial. And then there's the idea of decisioning and analytics and AI. AI and analytics work very well together. Um, the, the problem is we're steeped in analytics um, looking at the data and that's okay. We need to start looking at the goals and how do we get there using the right analytics and the right inferencing. Um, getting into the decision end of AI. So we're gonna see AI creep into business transactions, work management, creep into production lines, creep into data management, create a creep into decision management. AI will be everywhere in these platforms. These platforms will differentiate themselves. So a, a real technical example that's very real is IBM is pushing its security intelligence um, to their cloud platform. They think they do it better. I don't know that for a fact, but that's what the advertisement says. And I know they're using AI. Okay, okay. So help me understand, you know, ridiculous question I have for you, okay? I somehow, when, I, when you talk about digital business platform, I start to think about the full stack of enterprise software, okay? Mm -hmm. Tell me if it's different or my thinking is not exactly up to date yet. So to me, every company, every enterprise, right? They have to handle their what? Uh, their product development side of it, right? Technology for that. There is finance, there is packages, there is legacy applications for bill payment, order management, supply chain, every human resources, you know, any kind of right customer, of course, customer facing uh, UIs and business processes. I mean, the whole, the whole stack, what we used to think, right, of business applications, okay, and backend, of course, the, the databases, you name it, okay. So digital business platform, that, is it the tough, uh, top layer on all this? Or how do you go from right, each, each system, you know, and every, what is it, possible capability enterprise would need? Yeah, well, there, there's, yeah. there's different, different ways of doing this. One is to take that viewpoint 
that it's the enterprise backbone or the enterprise nervous system. Mm -hmm. um, that's a legitimate digital business platform. But there are other digital business platforms that are just as legitimate where somebody might say, well, instead of following a vendor, we have an architecture mm -hmm. and we need to plug something in here. So there's digital business platforms that are specialty platforms. So for instance, a data science platform, right. which is offered by a number of different companies. Um, you know, Tipco's one, Google's another, uh, in, in, Informatics is another, um, Information Builders is another. They have these data science platforms. What they are is mini digital business platforms that really solve a specific problem. And in the architecture of a company, it fits into an overall architectural di digital business platform they're building. So they might start with this and then integrate it with their work management. They may pick, you know, a BPM vendor, a dynamic BPM vendor, uh, like a Pega Systems, um, you know, like an IBM even. Um, and they may say, that's a digital business platform for management work. They may pick a collaboration suite. And the collaboration suite is around um, managing work between humans. Um, to make sure things get done. That's very goal-driven. It could also be a business function, like an accounting uh, capability, like SAP. They have, in essence, a digital business platform. Salesforce has a digital business platform, and they're interested in the transactions around sales management. Um, SAPs, it's around um, either accounting or legal or some particular industry, like oil and gas or manufacturing. Um, those are legitimate digital business platforms. Um, and then there are ones that are around managing the production line itself that are digital business platforms around IoT. So for instance, you'll see a combination of business and IoT in field management. So the idea of having infrastructure like in oil fields, uh, like in telecom, um, and managing all the people and it's a digital business platform that takes a little bit of each, a little bit of business function, a little bit of IoT, a little bit of work management, a little bit of analytics, and combines it together in a specialty digital business platform. But is there one digital business platform that'll run a whole company? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's going to be multiple. Uh, and they'll, the thing is to get those guys to work well with each other. They tend to want to control the customer. So the idea of getting them to cooperate with other digital business platforms will be a challenge. But I think, I think the, the bigs are getting it. They understand. Mm -hmm. yeah.